We are a church that has always heard Jesus's call to go out and help the hungry and the homeless. And that can be a very daunting task. It can seem overwhelming. You don't know where to begin or how to start. And our connections throughout the community have opened doors for us to have opportunities for us to make real impact in our community. And I want to tell you about a kind of quiet ministry that's going on within our church that's doing just that. Each Wednesday, a group from our church family gathers to make snack bags for clients at the local day drop-in center. These bags are then dropped off each Thursday morning, and with the support and guidance of the Coalition for the Homeless of Nassau County, given out to those who need them in our community. Snack bags contain things like tuna salad kits, dry cereals, cookies, raisins, and usually some home-cooked treats. Then on Thursday mornings, they add cans of V8, homemade applesauce, fruits and sandwiches or salads and slaws. They even put in hygiene essentials like sunscreen, insect repellent, band-aids, and tissues. You can help by bringing in items for our group to use or by coming in on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. in Maxwell Hall and helping them make these bags. The group also really needs more people on Thursdays at 8.45 a.m. in Maxwell Hall to help finish the bags and then deliver them to the day drop-in center. You can also help by being on call to provide baked goods or sandwiches when needed. Learn more about this and find the list of needed items by visiting mumconline.com slash news or by contacting Kathy Berg. Her info is also at mumconline.com slash news. Throughout our year-long emphasis on prayer and connection, we have had people ask us for some new classes on new and creative ways to pray. Well, the class that you have been waiting for is starting this week. Come on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. and meet in the multi-purpose room with Pastor Charlie and Dr. Anna Wright, who will introduce you to some new, interactive, and creative ways to pray, like prayers of movement, prayer labyrinths, silent prayer, and many more creative ways that you may never have thought of. This three-week class continues through August 23rd, and you don't need any special books. Just bring yourself. To sign up, visit mumconline.com slash sign up or call the church office. You know, it's not just the clergy who are called to live this life of faith. We are called to the lay people, you and me. We are called to spread God's healing love, to make restorative justice, and to also transform the world. And you can do that on a deeper level by becoming a certified lay servant. If you feel like it's time to embrace that call, to deepen your relationship and support of the ministries within our local church, you can become a certified lay servant. Later this month, our district is offering classes to empower and certify lay servants in our area. Classes include basic lay servant training, an advanced class on the devotional life and the Wesleyan tradition, and an advanced conflict resolution class. These 10-hour classes are hybrid, with the first class on the evening of August 24th being over Zoom, and the second class on September 9th being in person at First United Methodist Church in Jacksonville. If you're feeling called to do a little bit more within the church, maybe this is the right thing for you. I have put the link to register up at mumconline.com slash news. You can use that link to sign up for the next session. If you have any questions, just see Pastor Charlie. Helping our area hungry by supporting our snack bag ministry, learning new ways to pray through our Wednesday night class, and diving deeper into supporting the ministries of our church through becoming a certified lay servant. These are just three things that you can do to live your calling through Memorial. 